Hello, and welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a file that you can use to build a user access system where people can access certain sheets with a name and a password and you can maintain this very easily in your own file. If you're new to this channel, I'm uploading Excel and Google Sheet content um, and uh, if you like that kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out the next video. All right, so I wanna show you the functionality and then how I built this. So when you access the file, immediately you get this user form that asks you for your name and password uh, with this nice picture. And the name is actually a drop-down selection, so you have a selection of people. And if you write the uh, wrong code, you get this message, wrong password, and nothing appears over here. And if you write the right code, you get this message, password OK, and you see these sheets. Now, what's nice is that you cannot unhide the sheets. Um, I'll show you. You see you have sales inventory and bomb. And when I will select the second person, Jim, then I get another sheet. And there's still another sheet here that you cannot unhide. Okay, this is using um, the, the um, very hidden option, which you'll see in a second. Um, I want to show you the entire sheet. So the last person is the admin, which I gave access to all the sheets. And you can see um, that this is the last sheet that you don't see. Now, um, the login uh, gives you the, the user access, which also happens when you um, enter uh, the file. So what do we have here? We have this, the main sheet, which you, you, it's always visible with the login button. Just some dummy data that I created uh, using ChatGPT actually very easily. So just a reference and, uh, and it's not important. And the user sheet, which is, which is important. So here's where you set up the usernames, which we saw as a dropdown list. And the password is where you set this up. So if there's a match between the username and password, it will grant access to all the sheets marked with the X. So it's important that you have the sheet names over here and put an X for each person on the relevant sheet that you want them to access. So this is how it's built. Now, how does it work? Let's jump to the VBA part. So it's quite simple actually. Uh, first of all, for the button, so the login button you can see that's just um, user form one show it just populates the user form the user form uh, if you're not familiar with user forms we got a video just on that you can click on it on the top but assuming you know how to use them very simple user form I have a picture here that I've added I have a couple of labels I have a drop down list a combo box and a text box and a submit button that's very basic. Uh, if we go to the code of the um, of the um, user form, so on top is where I define the uh, the parameters, and I'm using the global option of of defining parameters so I can use them just as a you know best practice. Here it's not really required, but I do it, did it anyway. So first of all, the initialize part. Whenever you create the user form, I want just to set up the drop down lists. So combo x list equals users, which is the sheet that's called users. Uh, range A2 through A and the last row. Basically, this text gives me the last row. So I'm getting the full range of names to generate the combo list or the drop-down selection. So if I add names, it will immediately be populated. What happens when you click on the submit? So I have a... Um, a string parameter called result, which just looks for the the password using a simple VLOOKUP. So I'm pulling the, the result that expects it that is expected to a specific username. All right, using a simple VLOOKUP, no need to invent something here. And now I'm checking if result equals text box one value, which is the password that that's the label, um, that's the value of the text box that you entered the password. 
then we go over here but let's quickly see what it, if it's not so else message box wrong password all right but if it's okay you give the message password okay and then I'm using user index because I want to know which user I am and so I'm using the match function so worksheet function dot match combo box one value that's the name that we selected and I'm looking at users range A so basically I'm looking here I want to see the row number which row I am for example Joe so row number two and then I'm going to use a second index called uh, uh, sheet index to just go column by column and just check if there's an X or not and if there's an X I will unhide the sheet so that's very simple so then I'm using four sheet index starting with three because that's the third column after the password through here I'm using this cells one column count and X to left that's basically giving me the last the result of this is the last column so no matter how many uh, sheets you have here this would still work so it's going to loop through all of those for a specific row and here's where I'm looking if user cell user index sheet index equals X all right if I'm finding an X then I'm gonna um, apply visible to that sheet name all right because the sheet name is actually row number one so you see it's cells one and the sheet index so that value that is returning the sheet name and, and I'm using visible equals visible so that loop goes on and on and once it's done I'm unloading the user form because that's it I don't need to do anything else on that uh, and that's how the sheets are uh, unhidden now let's take a look at uh, what happens when you open the workbook so you can add this uh, code uh, private sub work book open that means that whenever this workbook is open this this code works and you put it over here and in, in not in the sheets but on this uh, on this level so very simple I'm using the application screen updating false and true just to speed things up I got two loops here going over all the worksheets first of all I'm I'm um, making sure they're all, all visible just to be on the safe side so that's this loop for each worksheet and worksheets worksheet visible is true and the next loop the only thing I'm doing special as I always want to make sure that main uh, is available and, and uh, visual so if the worksheet name isn't main then I will hide it but here you see I'm using very hidden which makes it um, so that the user cannot <coughs> unhide the sheet um, you know easily and then I'm also populating the user form, user form one. Okay, so that was the code. That's how you, you do it. And, and you can see now all sheets are available. I'm gonna exit the file, save it, and re-enter it. Cross your fingers. And there you go, I only see the main sheet. And as you can see, you cannot unhide. So just quick recap using um, the user's sheet. I define the username and password as a drop down list. And why a drop down list? Because I just want it to be user friendly plus limit mistakes like typos. Um, then you have the sheets that you want to either visual uh, hide or unhide mark X for the ones that you want to be visible for that person and that's it very easy very simple and you can implement it on your files when needed so if you enjoyed this content please hit that subscribe button click on that like it really helps um, with um, populating this video to other users that may find it interesting and I hope to see you on the next video take care now